Well, it is a new day of testimony in the sex trafficking trial of Ghislaine Maxwell and another accuser now taking the stand. Mike Sachs is live outside the courthouse in lower Manhattan to break down what's happening today. Mike. Yeah, Chris, so this is the third of Maxwell's four accusers to take the stand. Uh, she told the jury that she was just 14 when she met Maxwell and Epstein, and they began abusing her in, nine, in 2001. Now, the accuser, going only by the name Carolyn in court, that is her real first name, said she was at Palm Beach Gardens uh, living there with her alcoholic and drug-addicted mother when Carolyn's boyfriend at the time introduced her to Maxwell and Epstein. The government alleges that Maxwell groomed and then scheduled and paid Carolyn for Epstein sexualized massages over the course of three years through her 16th birthday in 2004 when she also worked as a recruiter of more teen girls for Epstein's massages all for hundreds of dollars in cash Carolyn's main source of income during that period she told the jury now Carolyn's testimony comes after a second accuser took the stand yesterday testifying uh, that she was allegedly lured into Jeffrey Epstein's orbit by Maxwell when she was 17 years old that accuser known in court by the pseudonym Kate said Maxwell and Epstein began abusing her in 1994 shortly after she first met Maxwell in Paris Yet, because she was over the age of consent at the time, Kate is not technically considered a victim for the purposes of Maxwell's underage sex trafficking prosecution. Still, Kate yesterday did provide testimony that the prosecutors hope will establish and corroborate Maxwell's role grooming vulnerable teen girls for abuse by gaining their trust and admiration. Now, the defense spent its cross-examination of Kate working to poke holes in her story and suggested she had only come forward to receive a multi-million dollar settlement from Epstein's estate, and the defense is expected also to make that eligible allegation and that defense uh, uh, for Maxwell this afternoon when it comes to Carolyn's testimony as well. Now, the government's direct examination of Carolyn is continuing and will, do, will continue through today, as well as the direct examin the cross-examination of Carolyn is expected to start at some point this afternoon. And of course, there's going to be one more witness, uh, one more victim, one more accuser coming forward at some point over the course of the next five weeks of this six-week trial here in Lower Manhattan. And I am outside the federal court in Lower Manhattan, Mike Sachs, Fox 5 News. Chris, back to you. All right, Mike, thank you very much. We appreciate it.